line one comes here then we take line one from here to line one so line one to line one then we bring in line two and then we loop line two to line two here then we bring line three to l3 here and then we loop same to l3 here we brought line one to l1 here and then we took a loop to l1 here we brought line two to l2 here we took a loop to l2 here we brought line three to l3 here and then we took a loop to l3 here i'll be using this contactor as the forward contactor and then this one as the reverse contactor okay so that interchanging will happen at the output side of these contactors from the output i'll take brown to t1 and then i'll take a loop from the same t1 And then from T2 also, I'll take another loop. And that loop goes to T2. Then the third wire to the motor goes to T3. Very simple. Our power circuit is fully wired. L1 to A, L2 to B, and then L3 to C. Okay, so these are the two contactors that we are using for the forward and reverse arrangement. But this is only the power circuit. And so for any of these contactors to transfer power to the motor, I would have to manually press it. If we switch the main switch on, and then I manually press this contactor. You see power transferred to the mutu. You can see the mutu is rotating anti-clockwise. Okay, so when this one goes, you realize that now it is going clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. Okay, 